Hello, my name is Lucretia and welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is going to be about my husband's challenge and my fabric haul. Alright, so let me give you a back story for why my husband has issued me a challenge. Um, basically, in the month of February, um, I have been doing a lot of fabric shopping. And so... You know, basically, he has requested that before I go back to the fabric store, <laughs> that I produce at least 10 items. Three for myself in the forms of dresses, blouses, or what have you made. But three items for myself and seven items for my little girl. Because I believe, like, more than half these purchases that I make are for her. And so he has issued me this challenge. And me... You know, basically, I cannot, you know, let a challenge go. And I felt like it was reasonable, so I accepted the challenge. So now I'm stuck trying to think of 10 different items to do in order to get through, um, to get through this challenge. And the main problem that I have is that I sew slowly. I'm not a quick sewer. I can't just produce like three or four items in a week. No, it, I produce like one item and I'm like, yay, I got this little item done. And so by his regulation, it should take me two and a half months before I see another fabric store. But I am actually geeked about this challenge. I will get everything done or I feel like I can get everything done if I pace myself within a month. So, you guys, pray for me, be with me <laughs> in, during this challenge. All right, so let me get to my fabrics and some of the stuff that I'll be working with. Some of this stuff, I have no clue what I'm going to do with it. I don't even know if this is for her, if this is for me. But I really just want to show you guys what I came up with at, during this shopping trip. All right, so let's get started. One of the things that I bought during the shopping trip is this. Beautiful Winnie the Pooh fabric. I'm gonna just put it out here. Guys, I love this. And the coordinating fabric is this one. All right, so I want to make a couple of, of sundresses. I'm hoping to get a romper and a sundress out of this. And you know, I bought this from Hobby Lobby, and I love the way they price their character fabrics. They price their character fabrics as a print or a, I want to say, calico fabric prices. So if it's 30% off of that, they're only $8.99. I get these for like $5 a yard, and you cannot beat that, especially not for character fabrics. And when they're higher other places, and I cannot even touch them at Joann's or even at Walmart. So, um, another uh, fabric I bought, this one I bought from Joann's, and I was in the clearance section at this point at Joann's, and so I found some pieces that I thought were cute, and I think I could either use this with the Winnie the Pooh fabrics to make something, or it might be something for myself. I'm not quite sure, but I love this cotton fabric. I believe I got two to three yards of it, so it'll be something I'm going to be working with. Uh, I found this fabric. This is, again, um, clearance section at Joann's. And probably what was on clearance because it's a Christmas fabric. And it is the Christmas flower. And I can't, as a pin up, I can't think of the name of the, uh, of the Christmas flower. Somebody put it in the comment below. Or if I think about it, I'll put it in the description below what type of flower this is. But it's the Christmas flower. And... I loved it. It was only a dollar and some uh, since a yard. They were trying to get rid of it. I believe I can work with it for the summer, but if even if I don't, I'll hold on to it to, for uh, until the winter projects come due again, and then I'll make something then. Um. Also, I found this fabric. This was not on clearance. Um, um, I fell in love with it just staring at it at the cutting counter. It was up in the bins. And this one was $19 a yard. I did have a 50% off coupon that took it down to $10 a yard. And unfortunately, I can only get one yard of this. But I'm hoping to get a couple of things out for that little girl. This one, I don't know if it's for me or her. I think it's a gingham fabric. It might just be printed cotton. I don't know. But it's cotton. 
And so this might turn into some type of 4th of July outfit for her. Or a blouse for me. Or a short little skirt for the summer for me. I'm not sure. Right, Like I said, I don't know what I have. I know I have a challenge in front of me. And I got to come up with ideas of which fabrics I will be using. Okay, this one is definitely for me. Um, I love the prints. This, uh, I want to say chevron or a zigzag print that um, goes throughout this cotton. A lot of these were cotton. And generally I don't pick up cottons. But I'm back into my cottons. Because I think I want to do some more. Um, I got that book. So many dresses that I want to uh, start. And um, start doing some more dresses out of. And she generally works with the woven fabrics. So I want to go back to doing that. Alright guys. So these are dentums. Printed dentums. And I am going to be doing some pants. Hopefully I can get some pants and shorts out of these two. And they're beautiful. I got three quarters of a yard of these. Uh, they were just um, regularly priced on sale for $7.99. I got a, a couple of more dollars off of them. Because I got the 10% military discount. And I got the... Um, what else did I get? I also got um, the military discount. And then I also got like 5 off of 35 Which helped reduce some of this price. So as you can see, so these I'm going to be making pants and shorts out of. And of course, I could not leave this right here at the store. It was just lace. It was in the clearance bins. I don't have a project that I'm working with right now for this lace. But I know in the future, who can leave pink lace at the store? I'm going to find something to do with it. Even though it might take me a few months or even a year. Or it might be next year when I get to it. Believe me, I got, it's something that's going to be, um, that's going to come up that I'm going to need this. So, and it was discounted for 70% off. Yes, I was not leaving it at store. Which is probably why I'm in this challenge <laughs> to begin with. Alright guys, so, um, one of the things that I saw at Joann's was this, uh, beautiful sundress. And the sundress was made out of different mat cotton materials. And so that gave me the idea to do um, one for my daughter. Um, recently, I went to the um, what the outlet store, and I purchased at the Carter store. I purchased this green. It, it was a green with um, a green jacket, kind of military style jacket, but it had pink um, pink thread running through it that made it, you know, kind of uh, made it more girly. And so I picked up the jacket because I was not leaving that jacket at the store. And it was a nice, qu high quality jacket. And so my goals for this year, especially for my little girl, is not to pick up a bunch. Let's say there is four shirts and they all cost three, four dollars. And instead of picking up four shirts at three and four dollars, maybe I want to pick up the 10, 15, 20 dollar shirt. One. And then incorporate in her wardrobe pieces that I make so that she has unique items as well as quality items in her wardrobe. And I'm looking for quali quality over quantity. Um, for years, I always did quantity. And the shirts didn't hold up. The holes got in the shirts really fast. Stuff just happened. Um, the stuff that I actually make lasts longer. Um... Or if there's a uh, repair, I know exactly how to repair because I made it. Um, so with that being said, the sundress came out. I saw the sundress. It was beautiful. Hopefully I can remember the pattern numbers. And I can put a picture somewhere around me so you can see what I'm talking about. And so I came with these. But it had four different um, fabrics inside the dress. So I came up with this one. This one. I love this one. Oh my god. I might have to go back to the store and get some more of this one. I might have to go back to the store and get some more of this one for myself. And then the camouflage. Now I'm hoping that all of this comes together. As soon as I get it, um, the dress put together, I will gladly show you and do a pattern review over the dress. Hopefully it's something unique and colorful because that's what I'm trying to go for. And I'll also definitely put some pictures of my little baby girl wearing this. Alright guys, so that is what I went to the store today to buy. I cannot see the fabric store until I came up until I complete my 10 items. And as I complete them, I will be doing videos over them. Hopefully I can complete more than just one a week. Um, so 
pray for me, wish me luck, encourage me, do whatever. But if you like my video, please hit that like button or please subscribe. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.